Hello, welcome to Theology Still Matters. My name is William Hemsworth, and this is the this is the daily devotional part of our program. Uh, tune in tonight, live, 11.30 p.m. Eastern on Spreaker, where we discuss the atonement and different theories of the atonement, and which theory is the most uh, biblical. So today's verse that I want to look at, it comes out of 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 23, which says, For you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and enduring word of God. Every day I speak with a variety of people, you know, whether it's at work, online, or just going through the grocery store. A lot of them have deep regret about something that's happened in their life. <clears throat> Excuse me. It could be a relationship that's soured, you know, a lost business opportunity. Often it's uh, something about, it's guilt about a sin that's been committed in the past. Bottom line, we all have regrets about something. Um, in today's verse, it tells us a couple things that are important for daily application. First, when we hand our, our lives open to Christ and we repent, Peter says that when we do this, we are born again through the word of God. Though we've sinned, we're now forgiven. We're given a clean slate. We're given a clean slate. Uh, and we need to act as such. That's the second point. We need to act as such. As Christians, we must remember who we represent. We represent the living God and our actions need to, we need to speak volumes. Our actions speak volumes to those around us. In regards to our previous sin, God is faithful in cleansing us when we confess, just as 1 John 1 9 says. But oftentimes we are hardest on ourselves. I can't tell you how many times I've done something, someone says they forgive me, genuinely meant it, and I just beat myself up over it. A lot of times we're just the hardest on ourselves, we're our own worst critics. We often hold. We often hold over our own heads what Christ has forgiven us for. So let's look to today's verse as encouragement for this Christian journey. We will, be re we will be attacked, we will face trials, and the enemy will try to say that we are not good enough by bringing our past sin back in our face and say, Look, look what you did, look what you used to do, you are no longer good enough. Let's look again at the words of Peter. For you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and enduring word of God. By doing that, you have been born again. You have a clean slate. God looks at you differently as his child. God bless you guys. We'll see you tonight when we talk about the atonement.